pilot, you've got to be flexible, spontaneous and quick from time to time. Quick is very, very important sometimes. We humans love having our regulated life. Our fixed schedules, knowing where to go, when to go, what to do, when to do. But in the aviation industry, that's not always that possible. There are just too many factors when it comes uh, in regard to managing and scheduling an airline. That's why we pilots and uh, stewardess and stewards got so-called standby and reserve days each, nearly each month. Up to this morning, I didn't know if I should do my laundry first or go to sports first. But now I'm taking this beautiful A330 to Orlando. But why did the company call me this morning and I had to go flying? Well, I got standby this morning. But now we arrived, took us around nine hours and 50 minutes. I'm over now today. So I'm probably gonna crash right there any second. But what are so-called standby and reserve days? Standby is like a firefighter's pager, but for pilots. You're on high alert for a period of eight hours in total, where you gotta be at the airport within an hour if they call you. Having a reserve, on the other hand, is like being on the reserve bench of a football team. You're not on high alert, they have to activate you one day prior your flight, at latest at 6 p.m. in the evening. And uh, most of the times you've got a couple of reserve days in a row, as well as with standby. And these standby days and reserve days are essential for airlines because they can always assure that they have enough pilots if anything happens like delays, um, other operational issues or cancellations. For pilots on the other hand, these days can be quite tricky because there's always an unplannable thing or an unpredictable thing having standby because you don't know when you get called, where you're gonna go. So it's really difficult to plan your personal life around those days. You basically gotta see it as, if you've got five days of standby, you basically gotta see it as um, having like a normal rotation and you're gone for these days. That's how you gotta plan for them. Another thing is fatigue management when you've got standby because you've got a time period in which you can get calls. So you gotta adapt your sleeping rhythm and everything. By the way, I uh, finally tied my, not tied my, but um, put my cravat on because uh, as it seems, it's not that easy filming a video and uh, putting my tie on. <laughs>
100. So stamp and reserve days are basically like the roller coaster of aviation. They can be challenging, thrilling, exciting, unforeseen, but they are essential for airlines to keep the operation running, keep the sky safe and everything. You know what else keeps the sky safe? A pilot's preparation for a new destination. If you're interested in that one, go check out that video right here I made a couple weeks back. And with that said, peace, catch you in the next one.